Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. You just want to. This is what we want to do at the moment. We just married at first sight. Look, we. I know we talk about it quite a bit, right? And we get into this show every year. We've got our maths dinner party coming up next week that we want you to get involved with. But I seem that every year they just try to elongate this show and they just do a partner swap. And I'm sorry, but they've lost me at the moment. They've completely lost me. I think what happens is they run so hard at the start oh. and everybody gets in uh, into it. And you're right, Fitz, it's like a race. Yeah. The gun goes off and everybody's sprinting. Yep. Then it slows down. Mm. I think the sales team have <laughs> sold in X amount of ads oh. and then they come in and go, sorry, guys, I just we've sold another one. Can we get another week out of that? And then we get Harrison come into the studio and tell us that he tried to leave in the second week and mm. the producers begged him to hang around because he's the villain. So he's hung around. We don't know what's coming out of there mouths anymore. If I hear the term gaslit or gaslighting one more time, I'm going to throw the remote control through the TV. Oh, don't do that. No, I won't. I'll change. Cha- do, you know the only, do you know the one thing that keeps me going? What is it, mate? Is the editing fails. Mm-hmm. It is the best. And, I mean, this started with Dion's last year. Yeah. It's a, it's our favourite piece of audio. But you can even tell that these guys are over the show. Have a listen to this editing fail. I'm here apologising, like, Jesse's not even here, but I've really apologised to him, so it's like, to all you guys, I feel terrible for my actions that night and how I made him feel and how I was I was selfish in that moment. I wasn't even thinking about him. And Janelle. There's a guillotine in there, isn't there? So, if I, we need to listen to that again. <laughs> I, I just got to set it up because Adam, right? Adam came back last night and saw all the boys, yep. and he he burnt Jesse by kissing Jesse's wife Claire at the start of the show, right? Mm-hmm. So he's in there apologising about Jesse. I'm so sorry what I did to Jesse. I shouldn't have done that to Jesse. And then the producers have gone, well, he was married to Janelle as well, so we've got to sneak in a Janelle. Have a listen at the end. I'm here apologising, like, Jesse's not even here, but I've really apologised to him, so it's like, to all you guys, I feel terrible for my actions that night and how I made him feel and how I was I was selfish in that moment. I wasn't even thinking about him. And Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> what is and, Jan- and Janelle. There's a guy in the editing suite with a samurai sword. He's blind, and he just starts swinging. Well, I'm under... He must... <laughs> He must show the producers and go, well, if I can get it past them. Yeah, fine. Because, I mean, the Dion, uh, the, the bee's knees, yeah. the best one of all time was Dion last year. No matter what happens tonight, I think it's important for me to let Carolina know how I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> was that even the same person? I wonder if they get him back into the voice booth and they're just standing there going, oh, do I have to rig this out? How I'm feeling. I, I am going to do it with no emotion at all. <laughs> Just outstanding. So yeah, it's... let's talk it up though, guys, because the next big event is going to be our party at the grounds at Alexander Married at First Sight. Our own dinner party confirmed to be there at this stage. Evelyn Harrison, Bronte, Melinda, Leighton—they're all coming along. Yeah. And you can still be there. Your chance to be there next week, guys. You've got to register at the Nova Player, and we could be calling you back this week. Don't miss the drama. Maps dinner party tonight, 7.30, Channel 9 and 9 now. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova.